The next deck that we're going to be playing is a... Uh, it's another attempt at finding a good home for Pidgeot. The last one we did was uh, Mormikyu. was, you know, Morpeko and Mimikyu. It kind of leveraged the supporting aspect of that. This one doesn't do that. This one is more about items. So there are some good supporters that we want to be able to get. There's Judges, there's Professor's Research, there's, of course, Boss's Orders. Um, but for the most part... We're using this Pidgeot to get escape ropes. We're using it to get um, the rare candy. Well, I guess we wouldn't need that because it's for the Pidgeot. Anyway, so this is probably not going to be the final build for this. But I wanted to try it. And this pairs up two things that we love in this channel. This pairs up free retreat cost with free retreat cost. So, power. Um, and as we've used Corviknight, we've used Corviknight before. Uh, one of the things you can do is use the attack, retreat it, then use Pidgeot to grab an escape rope or a switch, depending on what you want to be doing damage to, and then you get to use the attack again. So let's see how viable this is. Um, they're good cards. I just don't know if it's going to feel like it's super powerful. You know what I mean? That's what we're checking for. Also, let's change the music up here. We're doing something steel, which means we're going to put on Rosie. I hope y'all are cool with uh, Warehouse Techno. Uh, let's not start with that one, actually. There we go. <laughs> oh, wait, I think we are supposed to go first with this. <laughs> wow. Just wow. See, it fits the steel background pretty well, right? Okay, so this is the Tyranitar deck. Okay, second Professor's Research is a little brutal. Not exactly what we wanted, but here we are. Um, so we are going to use one of those this turn, though. So we're going to ditch these two things... Let's grab a Cleffa. Okay, we're going to clutch this Larvitar so it can't go anywhere. I might want to prioritize the Pidgey next time, right, over the uh, the Cleffa, because we know it's going to be a Larvitar, right? So they're probably going to be doing, if they have the Pupitar that we've been using, they're going to be doing damage to the bench. We don't want Cleffa to eat that. Um, wow. Okay. Okay, so what do we got? Hey, look, an Arceus deck. Uh, okay. Hey, look, an Arceus deck. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So, are we gonna boss's orders? Are we gonna judge? We can't take out this this turn, or we would do that. I think we're gonna Arvin here. So what are we getting with Arvin? If we get the Forest Seal Stone, we can get whatever we want. What's the other thing we're going to get? So we could get... Try to get the Corviknight V Max. I don't think we can do the damage with that this turn. So let's just get a Nest Ball so we can have the, uh, the Pidgey. Get the Pidgey. And then we're going to put the Forest Seal Stone here. Put another Energy here. Okay, that takes two. How bad's my hand? My hand's five cards, so drawing with Clef is not ideal. Let's just let's just be as smart as possible here and grab the V Max for next turn. 
Because we can VMAX, play an energy, and then judge. It's going to be tough, right? We don't know what they're up to, so this is going to be a difficult decision no matter what we do. Probably choosing wrong like we do. Now, not letting them retreat this is actually really good, because if they have the RCS V-Star... Well, brutal. But if they have the RCS V-Star, that means they have to use one thing to get a switch. Uh, most likely. I'm glad we got the Pidgey. Because yeah, if they evolve this one... It's 120 damage. We're not weak to that. They don't have anything with damage on the bench. What I was saying is so they can't retreat this one and then have a Tyranitar with something with damage on the bench. That's where I was going with that. Now, this is the RCS V-Star, though, so that's brutal. And this can retreat now. Well, <laughs> it could if it didn't have a 4 retreat cost. It is the Pupitar that we know about. Okay, okay. Smart decision by the opponent. They have good taste. Them ditching a rare candy is good for us, though, because they still have this Pidgey. That's an excellent rip. Uh, so they currently have, what, 280 HP? Judge is kind of... We don't really want to do that right now. Um... So, that's not enough to knock this out. Hmm. I want to feed him a Cleffa. Not particularly. I think we just hit him here. It's a ticking time bomb until they get the RCS V-Star is the problem. Because that's two of whatever they need. How many Ionos are you playing with, my friend? I guess just two. That we've seen so far, but those have been really convenient draws. Okay. Now, Arvin with the Pidgeot in hand is also a really convenient draw, but they're gonna get what they're looking for eventually here, too. Okay, that's not gonna do it either. That's a lot of damage, but it's not going to do it. Okay. So we have a switch in hand, so we could just Arvin here to get the uh, rare candy for the Pidgey. A choice belt here. Okay, so we get one of whatever we need. But that, so 100 does it, right? 100 does it. Okay. Do a free retreat here, get that out there. We're going to play another one, just in case. Uh, and let's search up boss's orders. Hi, rookie! Okay, let's get that for next turn. So if they don't put this out, we can take care of that next turn. And... Let's make... Oh. Oh. Ironic. Very ironic. Watching people with really powerful cards give up. Oh, oh, it keeps my skin young. <laughs> my skin's not very young. Okay, that was pretty clean. That was pretty clean. And so, this is the first deck we played with the, uh, with the Pidgeot. The Pidgeot EX, the new one, that's actually trying... Oh, I don't have any Pokeballs. That's actually trying to, for lack of a better word, um... Use the Pidgeot to attack. That's what the double colorless energy is for. Because 100 damage isn't nothing, right? Like, that was going to work on that Tyranitar. Opponent was banking on the fact that we couldn't do that. I don't know if we're going first or second, but both of these in the same hand is good either way. Oh, cool. We're going first. Excellent. The basic Pokemon VN play have don't, don't have abilities. That does not stop anything that we're doing here. 
Fluffa and a Corviknight. Pidgeot. Nest Ball for another Corviknight. That there. They're probably not playing with Pokemon V, but we're not gonna so we're not gonna play this out just yet. Yeah, I'm gonna take a second here to do something real quick. Apologies, y'all. What? Oh, I guess it's because I'm live. I can't do that. Well, I don't get to have any Pokeballs, so. Whoopsie. Things going good, man. How about yourself? Okay, so Executor's concerning. We're not weak to grass, though, so that's nice. Playing some Pokemon, living the dream, you know, you know how it goes. Okay, if they're on a blunder policy... Thing, that would be bad for us. If they could get a bullet and a Okay, they're not. Well, that's good for us. That one. Okay. Well, that's fair, man. That's fair. It, it's a good deck to learn because that deck is very good at drawing cards, which makes... It makes it less... You're going to spend less time learning to just, like, sit there... And more to oh, and they're playing with Venusaur. Nice. This judge is really bad against what they're doing. Um, but yeah, no, the Mew deck is a great one to learn on. Okay. So they are playing with Pokemon V. So we're gonna put this here. I'm gonna put this here. Uh, let's just judge. The judge isn't gonna get much better than this. Um, it's unfortunate, but that's how it is. Uh, and yeah, we'll end our turn. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Did I fully finish my sentence there with you, Rookie? I hope I hope I did. If I didn't, here's a quick summary. Um, decks that let you draw a lot of cards, you don't have a lot of downtime, so you actually get to learn how things feel and how they do, do well together. Now leave work. Drive safe, my darling. Look forward to seeing you soon, love. Miracle, huh? So they're all up. Th this is a, an Executor deck. It doesn't look like it yet, but everything they have played is all about letting Executor have a lot of energies. Because these don't really care about having the energy. This doesn't care about having the energy. Executor wants energy. Yeah, that's what they're up to. So in an ideal situation... Now, this is pretty weak to a Corviknight, because 240 is what Corviknight VMAX does. So let's start here and see what we get. Boss's orders ain't gonna do it. We're gonna pass on that one. Exactly. Exactly, rookie. Okay. We need to professor's research. We need a Corviknight and a switch. Uh well, we got one of those. Oh hey, we got the other one too. Sweet! We're gonna make him put something else out that's worth more. <laughs> oh my god, I got the escape rope and not the ultra ball. Y'all, I am so bad at this game. Alright, well in that case, we're just gonna switch here. And we're going to escape rope. Why did I do it that way? That's a good question. I should have done it the other way. I have... You start throwing, and you, you keep throwing, right? Okay, they are going to help us out, so that's very, very kind of them. Now let's just take out this Celebi. Get two prize cards for it. Now, luckily, one thing we have going for us, they're a little behind us right now, and even if they knock out two of our things, it's not the end of the world. It works with retreating. I'd have to look at it to answer your question better.
Okay. So, if they don't knock us out, which they don't think they'll be able to do this turn. I don't think, maybe. I don't think. You got it, Icy. Oh my goodness, I see there was already one going. Zenith, congratulations. We'll, we'll get that started in just a second. I need to focus here. I've messed up twice and we're about to lose this game if I mess up again. Um, so we'll do that in just a second. I apologize for the delay there. Okay. So they can have three things here. We're going to knock this out next turn, though, because I'm not going to mess it up again. They have officially gone all in on the Executor. And they're going to draw four cards because of Sunny Bloom. Okay. So, what do we need to do here? We need to use Arvin to get an Ultra Ball. Uh, no, wait, shoot, we can't do that. Is it possible to win this? We can do 190. I don't know if it's possible for us to win this. I've messed up, y'all. I messed up really bad. Um, because we need a boss's orders and an ultra ball. Uh, and we can't use Arvin to get the ultra ball and use a boss's orders. And we can't use a boss's orders without the ultra ball. It wouldn't do anything. Um, okay, so new plan. What we're going to do here is we're going to Pidgeot for... Ah, uh, we have to we have to do it though. Let's play this out. I guess we get the Ultra Ball this turn. Yes? I don't actually know, y'all. We already used our force steel stone. We haven't used our force steel stone, but I can't use the boss's orders now. Huh. Oh. Well, let's just ditch these two things. Grab the Corviknight VMAX. We're going to do our best here, y'all, but I messed up really bad. That last turn's going to cost us. I'm going to grab this for next turn. I imagine they're going to put it out here now, and it's not going to matter. So, what do we do? We would just put the smear goal out so the escape rope wouldn't work. Let's just grab it so we have it. Maybe it's not too late. This isn't actually that much damage. It's gonna hurt, but it's not actually that much damage. So, okay. We... We max hurricane. Darn it. I messed up so bad. Okay, so first things first. Zenith, you won the, you won the giveaway, so let's do that. Coming in hot for a code there. That okay. That is complete. You're welcome. I am sorry that took me so long. And there's Icy's giveaway starting now. Okay, all right, we're back on. Everything's good. Sorry about that. Oh, if they're gonna take a turn off here to try and get even bigger, then we do win. We're okay. We're okay. Whoo! Everything's fine. Never punished. That was really close, y'all. This game, uh, this deck's actually not too bad. Any deck that resists your ability to throw the game is not all that bad. Opponent, though, like, come on. With the Pidgeot, you don't think we could answer this? You don't see a problem, my friend? There's a problem. Okay, so we do this here. Uh, we're going to retreat. Pidgeot out front, then we're gonna switch to get the Pidgeot back. We boss his orders to get the Executor, which is going to take extra damage, and uh, we should, but I don't think we're going to. Okay, we win. Game over. Whew. Yeah, that was way closer. Uh, big agree, sheep. Big agree. Woo! All right. Making me sweat, deck. Making me realize I'm bad at this game. <laughs> 
Oh, all right, I see. We'll do the giveaway that you requested after the next game, and I won't forget this time. Says increasingly forgetful man. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful indeed. <laughs> Whoever does those emotes, a king draws. I might need to uh, enlist their help for some new penguins. <laughs> that coin makes me laugh every time. I mean, starting with Clef was pretty nice. It would be great if we had more things to play out of our hand so that we could draw more cards, but... So the way that works, Rookie, I, I realize what your question is now. Not being able to attack is what's called a... Um, well, this might be a very quick game, y'all. Oh, wait, it is. Yeah, they... Okay. Uh, uh, uh well... Hang on. So not being when a, when a Pokemon says it cannot attack next turn, that is a special condition. It's not a status condition like confusion or something like that, so it doesn't necessarily interact the same way, but whenever a Pokemon moves to the bench, it loses all special conditions. So by benching something, it suddenly can do the attack that turn. It's just that you only get to do one retreat per turn, so you can't just sit there and just do two retreats. You have to also have like a switch or an escape rope or another way to get it back out to the front, and then it can do the attack again. Uh, and the way they indicate that in this game client is the little red arrow. Um, you'll see it pointed, like the, the red arrow pointing down means there's a negative status effect. And whenever you bench a Pokemon, it loses that. Now, whenever with the little asterisk, there are some things that don't go away. Like the new Dita uh, trainer card says that, you know, no Pokemon can attack this turn and that doesn't go away. Uh, but for the most part, that's how that works. Yeah, I'm glad we could clear that up. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> a Pikachu coin. Uh. It does. No, it does work for those two. Benching something removes those conditions. The difficult part with uh, paralysis in particular is that paralysis says you cannot retreat if you're paralyzed. And same with sleep. No, dude, ask your questions. I want new people to ask questions. I want y'all to learn the game. It's a fun game. Okay, that Charizard is scary. You know what? We should have one path to the peak in this deck because we could fish it up with Pidgeot if we get there first. Mm-hmm. 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 So, um, but like Poison, Confusion, Sleep, Paralysis, Burn. I think that's it. Um, any of those remove when they get benched. But like I said, Paralysis and Sleep will not let you retreat because they are affected by that condition. You can still retreat when you're confused. You can still retreat when you're poisoned and burned. Yeah, that's why free retreats are so busted. Like it's it's why like if you're look if you're evaluating a Pokemon, evaluate that. Yeah, yeah, no, you're you're definitely good to ask any questions you want. And yeah, free retreat is so good. I have a, I have a couple decks we've made that are just all about free retreating, and yeah, they are nasty. Grab this. Because, yeah, even the Forest Seal Stone would help us get that path to the peak out, which would be bad because we would lose our Pidgeot, but our Pidgeot is a lot less important to what we're doing than their Charizard is to what they're doing. So that's a change we're probably going to make after this. How did I put this here? Because we're going to... Oh, we're going to retreat, that's why. Or Cleffa! Okay. Welcome back, Muddy. An interesting use of that because they don't have anything in the bin. Yeah. What other decks are good to learn for competition or to play with? Um, the Arcanine deck is pretty solid because it's it's more traditional, like just power. It shows you how fire. Um, 
Yeah, the Pokey Catch extension is a uh, a little game that we can play. There's a, um, so I think it's chat game. Um, but so to the other deck, play with the Arcanine deck. Uh, my favorite when I was first starting out on this client was actually the um, the Dialga deck. That one's really good because that teaches you about how abilities work um, very very well. Hang on one second here. Gotta. Be smart. Okay. This is going to evolve into a Charizard, and we are in trouble when it does. We're pretty soft to fire. That's the downside of this deck. Oh yeah, and Tatas brings up a good point. The Lunatone deck is excellent. Yeah, you got it, buddy. Um, so Dialga, Arcanine, honestly, all the decks they give you to start with are all pretty solid to learn with. Yeah, and Zenith brings up another good point. Yeah, yeah, we're out. We're, we lose. <laughs> it's a little too slow here. You know, this is a cool card. I, I will say, I like this Charizard card. I think it's fun to play with. I think it's pretty. And I think it represents Charizard very well. But it does not feel good to see your opponent play that card. Which is not a good thing, in my opinion. Okay. Um... So if we get a, we could just get an Ultra Ball and evolve it, but it can't really attack. But that's still probably safest here. And we'll just feed him the Cleffa. Try to buy a turn here. Problem is, we're not gonna beat this thing. Uh, that's still better than not doing anything. All right, so let's ditch that. Choice Belt doesn't help against the Charizard. We can ditch that as well. Kind of like my energy here. Forty damage. So two. The difference between two eighty when it's three. So one eighty. That doesn't really. It's probably not going to matter too much. And I. That way we don't have to um, ditch our energy there. Okay, we're gonna feed him a Cleffa. We're gonna put another energy here. That means we get to use Cleffa. Yay! I'm sorry, love. Yeah. The, my one issue, we've tried that Coridon deck a lot of different ways. The one issue I have with that deck is that it's really, really slow. Um, which isn't like, <laughs> you're a monster for what you're about to do to this Cleffa. How dare you about it? How dare you? Um, wow. Just brutal. Um. <laughs> can't even be mad though. Uh, words are hard and I give up. Hang on, sorry. Okay, so now we're going to judge, because we've got everything we need, uh, and the Charizard's out front that we're about to hit, so let's judge and get rid of all their cards. Okay, put this Pidgey out. We Pidgey out here for anything particular. Yes, we get another Corviknight VMAX, get this other one evolved, so we have three things that have no retreat cost. We haven't used our V-Star power yet either, so we have another search up anything we want just sitting here. That's good. Okay. Um. Cleffa, no! Um. Exactly. Exactly. And so Great Tusk in that deck is, um... Think of that more like a finisher. That's the problem with that. When I say that deck is slow, that's why, right? That deck is nothing but finishers. There's no speed to it. Um, and you do want to have a, an option that you could... Ooh, it's the new Ninetales. You want to have an option that you can do that's something unique, right? Something... Like, fast? Unique was not the right word. Something fast. I was thinking this Ninetales is unique. Okay. So, nine damage counters doesn't actually knock this Corviknight out, which is excellent news for us. 
Um, so let's start by ditching... Uh, these two things. For a Pidgeotto. So we can evolve that. Okay, then we're going to use our Judge here. Get rid of their hand, so they don't have those cards that they wanted. The double Turbo is a good draw, too. And the Switches as well. Okay, so we're going to retreat here for free. Uh, well, this actually does knock out the Charizard, right? So let's do that, because we have another Pidgeot here if we need it. In just a second. I like that a lot more than risking the Corviknight. Do I? Yeah, I do. I do. Let's do that. Because we also get rid of their stadium this way. Ha! Nailed it! Yes, we, we will discard that. Let's see here. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's that's why the Mew deck is so good. That's why that Mew deck wins tournaments. is because it's so good at drawing cards. Um, let's see. Think about going out to different events and buying the remaining pieces of the deck, trying to play competitive. I would I would wait. I mean, if you if you would enjoy the competitive, go play the competitive, right? Um, the reason I would wait is because you're going to feel like you're going really slow because you're, you're having to read the cards and learn the cards, right? And other people are there to play competitively. They're there to, like... I don't know if you ever had a chance to watch... Oh, our Pidgeot. To, uh, to watch um, professionals play Pokemon. Uh, but, like, the World Tournament, the World Series was going on recently, and they play so fast. Um, it's just, like, back and forth. I think I do this. I shake your hand. There's not a whole lot of, like, reading the cards. That'd be my only uh, hesitation for you there. Now, we actually... Let's not forget to search up here. Um... If they want to take another Pidgey, that's fine. We'll give it. We'll feed this. It's like actually, let's not because that takes away their only move. Okay, and we're just gonna knock this out because we hit it earlier. Hey, math is hard, but we're thinking. We're thinking. We're thinking. Okay. But honestly, if you think you'd have fun, go do it. Go do that and have fun. I don't mean to like yuck your yum or say that's a that's a bad idea. It's just that would be my one reservation for you there. But tell them you're new. Most people are going to be happy to help a new player out. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, just get some get some reps in. Try it out. Oh, it's almost dead opponent. But you are dead opponent. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> Yeah, this relatively unknown streamer I watched said that I shouldn't be doing this, so here I am. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, and we had a giveaway going that I remembered this time. The winner is Sheep. Congratulations. And as always, y'all, let me know if there's any issues with any of these codes. There shouldn't be, but sometimes I might copy and paste the same one twice. Uh, I really should have fed the dog. I feel bad. He's probably hungry right now. He's probably asleep, but he's probably also hungry. Darling, we might want to kick his food schedule up to five so I can do that right before I start stream. Just thinking out loud here. What's the bug? I've, I've encountered some too, so not unheard of, but what's the bug? Oh, you're here. I see. <laughs> What's the bug you have encountered, my friend? This is pretty good. For those of you just joining us, we're listening to uh, Warehouse Raid music because we're playing with steel cards. Against another fire deck. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I could see a Corviknight, like, groove into this, you know what I mean? If I use Cram with cards like Cleansing Gloves or Stones, you know they're in the cards. 
Huh. If it bugs out and freezes, that's definitely a big bug. I've never seen somebody using uh, Cramorant with tools attached, so I, I couldn't attest to that. Fairy Mildex. Muddy Suds, would you believe that Fairy actually doesn't get printed anymore? Like, they made that its own type and gave it its own cards with the, the adorable logo and or the adorable symbol and all that, and it just, they stopped printing them. They just, the Fairy got lumped into Psychic and other things. Oh, Cramomatic. Huh. So, cr technically, tool cards are not item cards anymore. That's probably what's bugging the system out, because th that was a switch that happened in, I think, March of last year. You need to... Uh, tool cards don't count as items anymore. Uh, and that comes into play specifically... Hang on. Okay, the Charmander's there. Okay, let's get a VIP pass here. If I spelt, I guess... Left foot another Corviknight. Now the question is, do we retreat this and draw three with Cleffa? No, I think we want to keep this Pidgey out front, because they don't want this Pidgey out front. Yeah. No, same. And I remember playing with the fairy cards, too, because it was like, wow, these are really cute and adorable, and they're really weak. <laughs> like, they, they have to have abilities to do things, and they just stop printing them. Um, so you'll see some Psychic cards that are weak to steal. Those are fairy cards. Exactly. And that confusion is totally warranted. Uh, rookie, don't feel bad about that at all. That was a weird change they made. Which, it's to make it to where you can't search up tool cards as easily. Like, if you look at the templating on Arvin, Arvin says, uh, for an item and a tool card, right? In the old way, you could just search two tool cards if you wanted. And so that's, you know, and Pokestop used to hit um, tools, and it shouldn't. So, okay... Stick for basic Pokemon that doesn't have a rule box. Well, that's good for us. In a way. Now, I do miss my, uh... Corviknights already. Interesting choice opponent. Yeah. And that's kind of what they're trying to do. I don't know why they still say uh, item on them. Because, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Like, that's the issue whenever you rebrand something. Uh, is that you have to deal with all the existing cards as well. Okay, so let's grab another Pidgey. Forty is not enough. That's a shame. I wanted to pull this uh, Charmander to the front and knock it out, but they're not going to let us do that. So we have to do this and just kind of keep going here. I might regret this decision, y'all. I really might. Come here. Reprint them all. They do reprint some of the old ones, and they do make changes, but mostly you end up with stuff that can't be um, used in standard play. Like Celebrations, the, the card release that is... It's in client. You can't really uh, use most of those cards. Some of them are great. Some of them you can use, like Flying Pikachu and Kyogre and Groudon. That's where the full art Professor's Oak come from. You're a collector? Nice. Me too. Same. That's why I like my shinies. Okay. Well, this is certainly interesting. Let's see what we get with our Poke Gear here. Boss's Orders makes things interesting and much easier, too. So we're going to put this here. We're going to Ultra Ball and ditch these two cards here for a Pidgeot. Okay. Play that there. 
See, if we had the stadium, I would grab, I would snap grab that right now. So I think that's what we're doing wrong here. We need that stadium. We're gonna grab a professor's research for next turn. We're gonna boss's orders this Entei to the front and take it out. The 170 is enough to knock this out, and then we can just evolve it, and then we don't have to worry about switching it out next turn. Yeah, that ne that next set's gonna be awesome. Nice! Congrats on your grading! Okay. Them putting this out's a little scary, but I, they're kind of out of things to put out there. Is this another Entei? It's not. That was their one Entei. We're, we need to start tearing through these as fast as possible because the Charizard's going to be a big problem. Hmm. That there. Let's put this energy on... Let's put it on a Corviknight here. The Pidgeot getting to search up a double colorless and use that is its own wonderful thing. Sure. Now we're we are gonna go grab the uh, Corviknight V Max here. they're sitting on that cart, if they're sitting on the Charizard, we are in trouble, though. Don't think they'd be doing that. I think they're just getting unlucky. Problem is that Charizard gets to do also extra damage for all the prize cards we take, so this is gonna be brutal when it happens. We're gonna judge next turn. They have a lot of cards in hand, and we want to take that back down to a nice solid four. They're also thinning their deck here. How many Charmanders are they through? Just, okay. Hmm. So it's important to be patient when your opponent takes a while to make a decision, y'all. Because keep in mind, some people are playing this game on the mobile client. And I've definitely run into people where they, like, take forever and then do nothing like that. Like, opponent might have timed out. They might have also bugged out. We've had bugs before where we can't click the card we want. Maybe they can't get the last card. They just have to wait for the thing to stop because this doesn't say, uh... You ha if you use this, you have to put it on your bench. I think that's how that works. I don't think it would let you use it if you don't have the spot open. But yeah, oh also rookie, if you uh if you want to see people use the Mew deck well again, go watch the Worlds games that have been uh, they might be over by now, but they were going on Mew Chips watched a couple of them and a lot of that Mew deck there. But it's the good version of it, right? So, one of the best things, the best bits of advice I could give you when dealing with anything in this game. Hang on. While I trail off into nothingness here. We're actually going to retreat for this Corviknight. Because this will knock this Pidgey out, and then we can start to build. Let's... Yeah, all right, we'll do this. We'll do this. We are still going to judge here. Uh, do I care? They're not even using this, and if they want to get more basics for us to hit, that's fine. Let's put this here just in case. Judge. 
Now that might have just given them exactly what they needed, and we'll feel really stupid if it did. Oh, it didn't. Yay! Lugia of the RCS. Yeah, the Lugia deck's another one that's just, like, ugh, mind-numbing to watch. Um, bug on mobile with your good energy. Couldn't choose the energy you want to discard. Oh, that's a weird bug. Huh. Alright, let's do the last giveaway as we go into our last game. Finish this up. Um, I was saying something and I forgot what it was, so it must not have been too important. <laughs> Don't feel broke, rookie. I use the stream as an excuse to spend some money to get me get myself all them shiny cards. And to give cards away. And now the uh, the first time you brew your own deck, that you're like, I bet these cards would be good together, and you put them together, and then they uh, they do good things. Oh, it's like, there's just no feeling like that. Like I bet this will happen, and it does. You're just like I am a god at this game. Okay. Opponents doing Giratina stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Standard, standard. <laughs> Hashtag tax write off. <laughs> You get more ce yeah, celebration codes are the way. If y'all want credits, celebration codes do it. They're the most expensive pack codes to buy online, at least for the most part. Uh, but they once you get, I think, like 50 of those packs open, you'll start to have thousands and thousands of credits. So. Someone's just, like, sitting there squeezing a rubber chicken into the microphone for this song. If you want to post a deck, like, if you have a, an idea and want to post it in the deck, uh, the deck picks channel in the Discord, we can take a look at it. See if we can make it better. By our powers combined. Like, I'm, I only, I've played this game a lot, right? And I came from Magic the Gathering, where most of the rules in this game kind of parallel rules in Magic the Gathering. So if you're good at that, you can kind of, like, mentally translate as to what you're looking for. It's, it's, it's very doable. Like, yeah. I, and I've made a lot of bad decks, too. We stream the ones that don't suck. Let's leave it at that. I love this little Cleffa card. It's just so cute. Just so cute. Okay. Here's the comfies. Now, Path to the Peak wouldn't help here, so that's notable. Norlax, okay. Opponent oh, doesn't know what they're up to. Fair and good for us. <laughs> I stuff that I'm not allowed. I don't like doing it. It feels bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's do those two. Okay, that covers most of what we need here. Let's put an energy there. Uh, let's bosses orders the Snorlax to the front, because they don't want this to be up front. That's a thick boy. And then we can draw another card. These are really bad cards that we drew. Uh-oh. Now, their deck has a lot of switches, switch cards, and escape ropes, so it's likely that that wouldn't actually stop anything. But here, opponent, you can have a Pidgey. Yeah, every time we've tried to play a card game at game night, I've figured out how to break it. And I win. And that makes me a bad person. True, though. I shouldn't do that. I just can't help it. It's how my brain works.
Okay, well that's awful. And man, these cards are not helping us, y'all. Uh, I even have so many that we couldn't even clef if we wanted to here. I'd have to nest ball, and I can't, I can't, I can't vacuum to get rid of stuff. Man, I don't even know. I guess another Corviknight? Yes. Scope out other decks? Uh, you mean in terms of breaking cards at game night, or what? It's not, it's not that I scope out others' decks, when I, it's that most card games have some manner of control element to them, and control wins games. Um, breaking, yeah, breaking, so, an example, we played a game called, uh, Unstable Unicorns. That was the, it was, unsta no, that wasn't Unstable Unicorns, was it, babe? I can't, I think it was, yeah. No, some, anyways, we played a game where... There was um, a counter effect. Like, you can, if you have this card, you can just counter it. It's, there's no mana, there's no anything, it's just like a counter. And I just like, oh, that's, that's how you break the game then. So I would hold on to those until someone's going to do something that would actually win, like, stop you from winning and just counter it, because it was free. So finding out that the counter, the control element, was free and broken, and that's how it was broken, makes it, makes it doable. So if you can figure out how to win uh, by playing control, you will win at these games. I would like to stop drawing energy. So we're actually not going to put the third one here. We're going to start building up. We're going to lose this if this goes long, y'all. Hmm. Let's put this on Pidgey and, and just kind of hit him a little bit. Make it look threatening. And then I feel bad, right? Because we're sitting there playing and it's just me and Chibs. And I'm like, uh... What do you have? Can I win? Can I- can I be mean? Can I win? So if they take this out- oh, they're- they're abyss seeking. Interesting that they would do that. They're really trying to dig here. We only have three in the lost zone for now. Yeah, her glaring is- is accurate. Can I have a, an ultra ball? I mean, maybe. Hmm. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go for it, chat. We're gonna hope we get it. So that hand was awful. We didn't get it. Ugh, shame. Shame. Well, we can do this though. Yeah, pretty much. I wasn't bullying your friend. Uh, my, I'm being slandered, chat. Slandered. Okay, so we're actually going to use Clutch here, because if we need to use Sky Hurricane next turn, now we can, and Clutch wins. See, Comfy's what I was talking about, Muddy. This is a, uh, Comfy is not a psychic Pokemon. I wasn't bullying. It was winning. It's different. Comfy is a fairy, and that's why it's weak to steal. So it's slotted into psychic. I don't remember which, uh, which incident you're talking about, by the way, my love. With Kate. That was a while ago, right? Oh god, am I the reason we haven't hung out with them in forever? Oh, I feel really bad. Okay, they're at six. If they can get seven, they unlock uh, Mirage Gate. Which I think, yeah, I think they're about to do. I think they're about to switch this Giratina in and use Abyss Seeking to get one more. Now, luckily, we took out their other Comfy, so they can't do it without using their attack to do it. They would need a third Comfy. Fourth? No, third. Third? Third? Fourth. Fourth Comfy. Now, are they just going to get it this way, though? Ditching the switch for this is interesting. Oh, no, it's a Giratina V-Star. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. This is also not enough to be lethal yet. Okay. 
Okay. Well, let's do this. Well, let's see what we get with this first. I think we get Arvin, right? Because... No, we're not going to Ultra Ball here. Because we would have to ditch... Oh, no, wait. We could ditch the Professor's Research, but then we'll have the Pidgeot to do that next turn. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, so... Arvin, because we can get an Ultra Ball... And the... I guess we could just get the Forest Seal Stone and just grab the Pidgey off that way. Never mind. I take it all back. Okay, so let's grab Pidgeot. Now we are going to risk this... Uh, oh, wait, wait, we have to work. He's like, wait a second. We are going to risk this Pidgeot because I want this Pidgeot to be with the Giratina fights. I want the Corviknight to come in and, and uh, finish this up. Also grab a Pidgeotto. So we have can evolve this one right here. Yeah, there we go. And we get to take care of their stadium this way. Nice! Love it when you put something in and it just like changes the game off the bat. Oh, that's a good draw. Now, keep in mind here, they're at six in the bin, but they don't actually have, like, they need this to get them two more, or one more in the bin, or four more in the bin, or to be an energy so that they can do that, yeah. Things are looking grim for our opponent here. Using to save what they can, when they can. Don't worry. Well, bosses orders it back to the front. So let's evolve this one before we forget. Use the ability. You can only use one of the abilities, even if you have two Pidgeots. You can only use it once. Um, let's see here. Treat there. We're actually going to. Hmm, no, we should get this one. Yeah, let's let's just hit the one that's dangerous. Now, if we had the, the choice belt equipped, that would have done 270, which is still not quite enough, so it's not... Don't be writing home about it, but it is a thing. Sure thing, opponent? They're trying to buy time. We don't have any more boss's orders, either. We don't want to judge here. We don't want to give them the... The card draw. So let's just do this. Okay. Now we can double turbo this Pidgeot. So we have a second one ready to go. Let's make... Oh, okay. They give up. Hey, that's what matters, Tatas. If you're having fun and you're happy, winning is secondary. All right. So our opponent got really unlucky there. That was kind of clear. Or maybe made some misplays or whatever. But either way... Uh, we won the game, and that's what uh, what we were looking for. The the Pidgeot and... Yeah, let's do the final thoughts here. Um, this felt good. It doesn't feel like this is what Pidgeot's designed for, though. This just felt like a good thing that we could slot the Pidgeot in. Like, if you have these cards, this deck works. Uh, Corviknight VMAX is a powerful card, and Lustrous Body didn't come up much, but that is a good ability. <laughs> Uh, when it comes up, which I don't know how much of it, how much of what you're seeing in standard right now will actually matter to that, but it is a notable ability. Um, and two things with no retreat cost, my big steel burb and my regular little burb, they worked great together. So there's obviously some tweaking you could do, whatever you enjoy most in terms of like what you want to be fishing up with Pidgeot. Uh, and I would change, we would put, uh, two Path of the Peaks in here. Does that stop your Pidgeot? Yes. Do you need your Pidgeot every turn? No. And... They're going to need things a lot more than you're going to need your Pidgeot. And if you get to leave the Lost Vacuums in here, you can even have a kind of a an uh-oh uh -oh button, right? So you can be like, okay, I need to use my Pidgeot now, so I have this Lost Vacuum in my hand, so we're going to use that and get to use Pidgeot. So yeah, um, possibly a Pokemon catcher or two. 
Uh, I don't know, we haven't used that card a whole lot here, but it's the item equivalent of boss's orders, but it does take a coin flip, so you'd have to be luckier, but it'd be nice to be able to do that sometimes. So yeah, good deck, good deck, enjoyed it.